So good morning everyone and greetings from Files Lab. So it's about 8 o'clock and I've just rented the car and now I'm going to check the production for the boards of the Tore project. So I must say we already have a problem. There are some resistors areas which were ordered to be the wrong value. So I'm at my office checking if I can find some part there for the test and they will probably have to order some more because I can only find 12 of them here and we need actually 800. So hopefully everything is alright with the boards they produce. I'm gonna check this, see you later. One eternity later. So, I just arrived at the company which is producing the boards for the Touru. As you can notice the weather is uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get it sorted out quite quick and uh, yeah, deal with our resistor problem. So, I'm going in, secured, we have to pay attention for the corona stuff. Great, so these are the two first boards which have been produced using the regular production process and my job today is to check them and make sure there are no errors and everything is alright before giving the go. So I took a prototype with me and I'm taking it apart to compare with the previous revision of the board and it should be enough to notice if there are some mistakes or things missing. So it looks alright at first sight. Now I will insert the new board in the housing and check if everything fits. It seems okay. So I install a full computer setup here with a keyboard and I can try to connect the board for the first time. So let's see what happens when we switch it on and yeah, that's okay. So it seems like there's no major problem, no smoke. I connect the computer, the processor respond, I download the software and the software seems running all fine. That's a great success. Now let's have a look at the component level. So it seems like the soldering is great. Uh, they're perfectly uh, attached to their pads and every component is where it should be. So I did a little bit of measurement. Let's visit now the PCB assembly line. So the assembly line is a SMT assembly line. SMT stands for surface mount technology. And this is the first machine that puts the solder paste on the board. Then comes the first pick and place machine. The pick and place machine takes the components from the rolls and place it on the board. Here you can see the vision system which controls the position of the component within the feeders and also to check if the components are correctly aligned on the board after they have been placed. So this is done semi-automatically, but an operator can always check. Now you can see the pick and place machine. It is working slowly because we opened the lid and it's a security feature, but it can also help to see if the machine is processing the components properly and picking them at the right place and putting them at the right spot. The machine has a program which contains the position and the orientation of each component and it takes the right component from the right feeder and place it where it should be on the board. Now that the lid is closed, you can clearly see the picking head going much faster and placing each resistor on the board. This is a special pick and place machine for components with a different format and at the end of the chain you will see the oven which is meant to cook the solder paste once the components have been placed correctly. 
Here are the boards before going to the oven. And here are the control boards, which are boards which have been made first and checked by an assistant to make sure that everything is okay. And now, let's go to the oven.